This is my first mostly functional um, prototype of my eight wheel drive fully articulated Thomas the train engine style uh, train. Um, it is eight wheel drive. I've got a drive shaft that connects right there. And I was really proud of that, that I was able to get all eight wheels driving and articulated off of a single drive shaft. I was pretty excited about it. If you see in there, I don't know if you can see, there's a little, oh there it is, a little constant velocity joint kind of in the uh, cup and ball style of radio controlled cars. I've got a little motor that goes right in there and it drives that drives that gear and it works pretty well it works pretty well so far it pops right in there slides in the top of the train has got a way to make it rotate but not allow it to rotate so far that it damages uh, the drive shaft which is thin walled brass tube and it's working out pretty well I'm going to uh, find a way to mount some batteries to the top of it and some circuitry right here that will boost that voltage from uh, 3 volts to 6 volts to drive that motor with it's pretty cheap the one thing that's not really working about it right now is that when it goes around corners it wants to climb out of the corners, it wants to climb out of the track and it's because I've got a little lip, you can kind of barely see it there on the sides of my o-ring and it's kind of rough when I 3D print this I 3D print it with the outside of the wheel down because uh, there's a hole on the inside when I 3D print it and I don't want the hole to fill up with scaffolding or supports so I print this side down but it ends up leaving a really rough surface on the outside so it's got a lot of friction and it grabs the outside of the track groove and it wants to climb out so I'm having a real problem with that. I'm going to reprint these in PLA uh, with this side up. I'm actually going to print it with both sides up by making the wheel in two halves and then sticking them together on the shaft. I'll make the shaft go all the way through. It'll make life a little bit easier uh, assembling them as well. So I've noticed in the past that the secret to making a train stay in the grooves is really the outside and the inside wheel shape and making it super smooth and friction free and trying to keep all the grip of the o-ring uh, on the bottom of the groove and not on the edges.